Well, I got fired from Sabbath was at the time the worst day of my life, but then looking back now, it probably was the best thing that ever happened to me and them. It was it was a very sad period. I remember leaving there. I locked myself in a hotel room for three three months, just getting smashed out of my brains every day, you know. That was the best job I ever got fired from. Because they had to have, they had a challenge. I mean, whatever I've said about Tony Naomi in the past was a lot of anger and a lot of bitterness on both parts. But I've got to be truthful to you. He, he was, he's one of the greatest all-time riff, riff merchants. I mean, he, he came up with some classic heavy metal riffs. Management we had never made, never let us realise how, how 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 big we were. You know, I mean, we always used to think we were lo lower than Zeppelin. We were lower than you know. We were always kept made. To, we used to share rooms for Christ's sake for for many years until until we demanded our own rooms on the road. I mean, we were ripped off ruthlessly. So I was just raped, and I said to I said to my I said to my my ex manager, I like to be kissed when I'm getting fucked. You know. I just completed a tour, tour in America with Anthrax, and they adored Sabbath. And when, I, when, when we toured with Metallica, I used to think they were taking the piss. They used to be playing old Sabbath stuff. And I said to the tour manager, are these guys taking the piss? And just, you're joking, I think you're gods. Blizzard of Oz and Die of a Madman, and all they were was, were ideas that I'd had, which I couldn't musically put across to Black Sabbath, because they would never give me the time of day to, to try and explain myself. Whereas Randy Rhodes came along and he, and he was patient with me and we spent hours and hours and we worked them out. And... Even now to this day on the anniversary of his death, which is coming up very soon, uh, I always send a, 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 some flowers to his gravesite. The reason why I get young players is because they know what the kids want, you know. And if I was to play with people that my, my own age, it'd be like, you know, it's, you know, it's like vaudeville, you know what I mean? Um, the difference between Zach Wilde and J.K. Lee's like night and day. I mean, the guy, this guy's wonderful. He's always on top of the, on top of it, you know. Come on, Ozzy, we're gonna rock out, and we're gonna kick ass. And I... When I when I used to be on the road before, I used to get upstairs, drink a bottle of fucking booze, and just handful of sleeping pills, and I knew you could have driven me over a cliff and I wouldn't give a fuck. I mean, I was drinking fucking vast amounts of booze and taking incredible amounts of drugs. I mean, I mean, I tell my doctor this, and he goes, how the fuck are you alive, you know? Why are you breathing? I'm a biological miracle as far as he's concerned. <laughs> I was in a line of guys going into this board meeting room, and, and they said to me, well, go in and make a peace offering. I was smashed out of me. I drank about a bottle and a half of Corvazier before I'd gone down. And I thought, screw this shit, man, you know? And, I was, uh, and there was all these guys sitting around this big table. They like, play your record when you're next to go in as if they've been listening to your record all morning. And I walked in and I was, fuck you, and bit the head off. I was horrified, everybody. And in, in, in actual fact, I've only re just recently been allowed back in the building. <laughs> video out on sale in England, I banned it because I say Crazy Baby is bordering on child pornography and that, and yet that fucking Madonna video, if Ozzy Osbourne had done a video like Madonna, I'd be, I'd be hiding with that fucking Rusty guy. You change my name to Ozzy Madonna Osbourne, I think. I might get a fucking look in then. And we're, get, grow a pair of tits. <laughs> I was gonna have a t-shirt printed of if your day is totally fucked, blame Ozzy Osbourne, you know. Because, I mean, it's, it, it gets that way, I mean, you know, it's, they blame me for the fucking weather, you know. <laughs> now I've got this, the band. I've got Geezer Butler back with the band. He's a, still as good as ever on bass. I've got Zach Wilde I've got, on guitar. I've got Randy Casillo on uh, drums. And I've got John, Sin John Sinclair playing keyboards. We sold Europe out. I haven't fucking played Europe since Hitler died. I dropped 22 pounds in weight since I've curbed the booze in there and the wild partying all night long. I exercised, which is a miracle. And the only exercise I ever did was with my right arm in a hotel room. I feel, to be honest with you, I feel better now and I feel more positive now than I ever have done in years.